YouTube is as hot as ever, and some businesses are feeling the heat. More and more businesses talking about blocking employee access to that popular website because it's a major diversion. In fact, one company in Houston did a little investigation and found out that 70% of its employees were watching YouTube and other video on demand sites every day for an hour each. That, of course, wastes company time, money, and bandwidth. To talk about what his company has done to stop employees from watching YouTube and others, we welcome. Welcome, David Yulovich. He's the CEO of Open DNS in San Francisco. David, nice to have you on. Tell me what your company does. Sure, Liz. Thanks. My company provides a free service that companies can use to basically find out what websites are being visited on their network. And then they, we give them the tools that say, okay, well, that's not workplace appropriate. We're going to block that. Where it's using too many resources. You know, a company only has a finite amount of bandwidth to connect to the internet. And video uses a lot more than, you know, browsing the news or other, other things. Well, it sounds great, but why are you free? Why aren't you charging here? How do you make your money? Uh, we're free just the same way that Google or Yahoo, the search engines, are free. We provide a, a search service that people use in addition to our web content filtering solutions so that IT administrators at thousands of businesses across America, they use our solution. And rather, we don't want them to pay tens of thousands of dollars for a filtering solution when there's really much more they can do. Well, so we when, have an advertising component. When you started out, uh, I'm reading one story about, about your business. You said you relied on donations, the largest of which was $10,000. Who would donate to you and why? Well, that, that was actually my, my first company, uh -huh. but, it, but it's similar in the sense that people pay for whatever the value they're receiving. Uh, the companies That's that we run, nice, we pretty nice, though, for know, folks who are used it, to getting stuff for free on the Internet to actually donate to the people that are doing the tough work. Well, well ab absolutely. And I think that providing a great service is really what, what it's about, and then mm -hmm. people pay whatever it's worth. Um, so in our service, we make it for free, and then we have advertisers that work with us sure, because sure. they want to be in front of the audiences we have. What surprises you? What company has come back and said to you, we found out you're not going to believe? Like, give me an anecdote of what your company has been able to help other companies dig up. Well, I mean, I can use my own company as an, ex as an example. I look at our own traffic stats, and I say, oh, we have a bunch of, you know, we have a young company, and we're growing, and we have a bunch of people that spend a lot of time on Facebook uh, and on YouTube, and there are some afternoons that I say, I'm pretty sure that not everyone's getting their work done. Maybe I should be blocking Facebook here. But then at the end of the day, I know that I have a team that works really hard, they work long hours, and I made the, I made the decision not to block these sites, but it is always surprising to see what sites come up. But, like, you know, on YouTube, the Hitler is a Cowboys fan, uh, you know, from the Super Bowl. That, that It's like 14 minutes long or something. I mean, people have That's right. work to do, do they it's not? A, it's, a, it's, it's a big time sink. And I think that companies need to have the tools, like the ones that my company provides, to get insight into what's actually happening. A lot of people have very little visibility into what's going on. So the first step is to get visibility and then to have the tools to take action. David, I got to ask, how old are you? I'm 26. Oh, just good job. Yes, you're an old man by internet <laughs> yeah. standards, right? That, that's, that's right. I'm a little bit late to the game here. <laughs> David Yulovich, great to see you. Great Continued company. success, David. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Good. Come back Thanks. again on Absolutely. Fox Business. We'd love to hear more. Thanks. The closing bell just about an hour away, and boy, the Dow has come off that floor. It's still down about 164 points. Stay tuned. We got a lot more to come right here on Fox Business.